This week, our students traveled virtually to the Philippines. The Philippines is large and diverse with landscapes of pristine beaches along the edge of the islands and bustling, crowded cities in the interior. There are up to 180 different dialects of languages in the country alone. The Philippines climate is divided into two seasons, the dry season and the wet monsoon season. The wet season usually lasts from July to October of every year. For our experiment today, we're making a rain cloud in a jar to learn how and why it rains. You will need a clear jar, some shaving cream, and blue food coloring or liquid watercolor. Start by filling up your jar with water, leaving some room at the top for your shaving cream. In this experiment, the water will represent the air in the atmosphere. Next, we will add the shaving cream to float on top of the water. The shaving cream represents the clouds. How are clouds made in real life? When air cools down, clouds are formed by water droplets forming on tiny particles, like dust, that are floating in the air. As more air cools, more droplets form, creating bigger clouds. Next, we are going to add our blue food coloring to see what happens when there are too many water droplets in the clouds. In this experiment, the blue food coloring represents the water droplets. As you can see, the clouds are able to hold quite a bit of water. In real life, warm air rises and helps to keep the clouds floating, even when they are saturated with water droplets. In this experiment, we are waiting to see when the food coloring gets saturated and heavy enough to get through the shaving cream so that it can rain. Before it starts to rain, the clouds are usually darker due to being full of water. Try taking a look at the clouds around you in the sky and notice the next time when it gets dark to try to predict when it will rain next. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned lots today. Bye!